Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl T. We are here with Sensational What Lay series and we do have Kiari in the building. Fun fact, I actually reviewed or installed her a year or two ago. So I wanted to buy her again just to see what she is giving. Okay, mind you, this video is not sponsored. Just want to put it out there. This video is not sponsored by Sensational at all. But anyway, y'all, this is what it looks on the mannequin head. I wanted to show you guys the back because y'all, it's a struggle trying to get the back when it's on my head. It is a struggle so you guys can see the texture it does look a little synthetic -y, okay it does have a little bit of a shine but let's just get into the lace y'all look at how flawless sensational y'all like what they came in clutch because look at that that looks freaking good you do not need to put this unit at all it's already done and it's so natural i'm obsessed y'all look at that So we're going to go in and pre-prep. I'm going in with my kids hot comb that I found in Walmart. I think it was about $25. This goes up to about 450 degrees. Um, I'm just hot combing the hairline just to test out the hot comb and I love it. Okay. So I'm going to start off by tinting the lace. This is Red by Kisses uh, Lace Tinting Spray. I have the shade medium dark brown. Y'all, I love, love, love this stuff, y'all. This will have your wig looking freaking flawless without having to bleach the knots and stuff like that, even on virgin hair units. This is not a virgin hair unit. Just want to put that, this out there. It's synthetic, okay? You cannot bleach the knots. <laughs> so after we go ahead and spray that i'm gonna seal it in using some hairspray you don't have to use this one but this is the one i like to use after we do that we're gonna seal it all in by using our blow dryer on a cool heating setting So we're going to put her on her head for the first time and let's see what she gets. Now she is a little snug y'all. Okay. In the center, I feel like the construction of the wig in the center is always more smaller than the uh, sides. So yeah, but this is what she's giving us straight out the package. Okay. Okay. So this is the hairline up close. I had to put another shot in here because y'all, they are still doing the dang thing two years later. And baby, this looks hecka good. You can't come for me. You can't tell me nothing, okay? So I'm going in with some scissors to get rid of the, um, what is it? The lace that is not needed. And y'all, you know your tint and spray is good when you cutting off the lace and you can't even tell that you cutting off the lace. You know your wig is bond.com. When it's melting into your forehead, it is not even laid down yet. Look at this. Sensational. Yes. Look at this, y'all. This is... What? Where did the lace go? So now we're going to get ready to secure it using our got to be glue spray today. I'm not going to put too many layers up here. I'm doing it very light because like I said, it's very snug in the center. So I feel like you will really have to work, work on securing down the sides versus the center. But I just want a little extra security. You know what I mean? Back in the day when I installed this unit, I never ever secured down the center at all. I just secured down the sides. I leave that. Uh, Y'all know I should have got extra color. A different color in this unit i think i would do that if y'all would watch it let me know if you guys want to see me install this wig in a different color because i'm like why did i get the same wig the same color but anyway <laughs> i just went off on a rant but <laughs> what was i saying i don't know anyway like i said just secure the thing the wig down all the way around like i said on the sides i use about one to two to three layers just to make sure it ain't going to wear i'm not trying to be going outside and the wind blowing and my wig start flying off all over the place like girl nobody has time for that
so we are fully done with installing her now we're gonna go ahead and pin her up so we can add our elastic band y'all y'all cannot tell me this ain't my hair okay So I left it on longer than I should have. Five minutes is good. But baby, look at this lace. <laughs> Bro, do y'all see what I'm seeing? What lace? So I'm going in for the first time to detangle the hair. I'm using a wide tooth comb. I did get a few sheddings during this process. Now this hair does look a little synthetic-y. I'm not even going to lie. The shine to it definitely probably could take some, you know, dry shampoo to dull it down. But I really wanted her to install her straight out the box without doing, you know, like all that or you know so anyway i'm just gonna go in and do a middle part because in my last install um i actually did it on the side i actually do swoop it back over to wait did i do a part at all i think i just swooped the hair over i didn't do a part in my last one but anyway we're doing the middle part today i'm making sure everything is flat i'm gonna flip it over and use the back of the comb as well because for some reason one side is always higher than the other and i just want everything to be flat not no hump to dump you know You don't need baby hairs, y'all. You don't need baby hairs at all. This unit, like I said, y'all, y'all look, y'all seeing the footage. Y'all are seeing it with your own two eyes. That baby, this lace is undetectable. You can see that you don't need baby hairs at all, and you can wear it without it. This is one of the units I will, hundred percent. The last video I did that curly hair routine, I mean that curly hair video, I couldn't, I would not go outside with my wig looking like that without baby hairs. But this unit, you have my full. Um, okay to wear that wig without putting on baby hairs because it's not needed it's not necessary but anyway y'all see i'm doing my baby hairs anyway um i'm gonna cut them shorter because i felt like they want swooping like i wanted them to swoop i feel like straight hair synthetic um wigs you're gonna be swooping for a minute because i was sweeping for a minute so i got into my liking but we're just gonna trim them up and you know and i am using my got to be glued gel for these baby hairs When I parted, it just looked like this is my scalp, okay? When they say, what well, lace, baby? They're not playing. Kiari is one of my favorite wigs, and this is the wig that I would consistently purchase over and over and over and over again. I really want to go and get some other colors because, like I said, I already did it in 1B, so I should have came back with a different color. But after I do that, I'm going to make sure the baby hairs are dry by using some hot heat. So this part right here, y'all know I like a little hump, like a little oomph. And then we're going to go ahead and give her like a little bump. Also, I love for the lace in the front to look a little laid. Like, y'all know that relaxed look, how everything is nice and neat. That's what I'm trying to give. So, I love this uh, hairspray too because this is one of the sprays where you can spray it on top of it and go right in directly with heat and it not turn white on you. Yes, y'all. I went to Sally's the other day and bought two bottles of this because y'all i love this hairspray it's a little i was i guess it is a little expensive for some hairspray because i think it's like 18 19 bucks but baby that's gonna be the best 18 19 dollars you spent your entire life trust me just for hairspray but anyway lastly i'm just gonna go in and define my part with some powdered foundation this is the end of the video y'all like i said it's straight hair so it's not much that needs to be done besides you know detangling it again and then just you know shaping it the way that you want that would be my only complaint is that the curls you know the flips at the end of it the bumps they be going in all kinds of direction and when you go out in the wind they just they just be all over the place so you're gonna have to have a comb with this also the shine it's, uh, it's a lot of shine going on giving it synthetic vibes but you can just put some dry shampoo on and it will solve your problem other than that y'all this is a 10 out of 10 in my book i still love her to this day and i'm upset so i'll leave everything down this description section below and until my next video i will talk to you guys later bye guys